Ramble. Thank you to Quince for sponsoring this episode. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of You Can Sit With Us. I'm Matt, here with Maggie. Hello. Becky. Hello. Rainy. Hi. And we are so excited to talk to you today. We have so many pieces of advice that people have uh, written in to us Mm -hmm. asking for our advice Mm -hmm. because we're so, you know, knowledgeable, qualified, sage, like Mm -hmm. worldly, all of these wonderful things. Mm -hmm. So people want to know what we think. Exactly. We have a lot of amazing stories, actually. And I picked up some really long stories, Mm -hmm. but they're worth it. I'm excited. They're meaty. They're worth it. Do we have an overarching theme this episode? Um, It is, actually. And that's our (laughs) opener. (laughs) So the overarching theme is messy situations. Okay. (gasps) Okay. Let's get messy. Let's get messy. <laughs> but first of all, I want to know Becky uh-huh. and Maggie and Rainy, what's the messiest thing in your life right now? Messiest. What's the messiest thing in your life? I feel like I know what Becky's going to say. Metaphorically. So the messiest thing, I actually just cleaned it up. Is that. Vomit. Oh. I had a granuloma on my <gasps> hand. Oh, and oh. now it's gone. Ooh, did you Ooh. burn it? I went to the dermatologist. Ouch. And they scooped it out. Ooh. But it was this granuloma that was on my finger that I got from, I don't know, they were like, sometimes it happens in pregnancy. And I was like, oh, so fun. Um, but every time nice. I would like hit it against something, it would bleed like Ooh. profusely. Like, Ouch. like massive amounts of blood would just be like pooling down my hand. That's crazy. And I had that for about three months before I asked my doctor what it was. And it was a granuloma. Wow. Mm. And they cut it out. <gasps> Did they yeah. numb you? Okay, so here's the thing. Yes, Rainy, excellent question. So I went to this dermatologist's office that I'd never gone to before. My girlfriend Hannah went with me so she could watch Henny because I was like, I don't know if you can go in this room, Henny. Mm -hmm. Um, And the dermatologist was like, this is going to be so quick. Don't worry about it. And I was like, awesome. He's like, we're going to scoop it out, burn it, send it off, test it. I was Mm -hmm. like, awesome, great, let's do this. He's like, okay, I'm going to give you the um, lidocaine shot. And I'm like, you know, this is going to hurt because it's in a sensitive, it's in the palm of my hand. He was like, this is a sensitive part. And I was like, okay. You know, in my head, I'm like, Got this. I I pushed a baby out of my hoo ha. I have a tattoo. How much could this hurt? <laughs> it hurts so bad. He was like, breathe, breathe. And I was like, Did you scream? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he was like, done. He's like, I told you it was only gonna hurt for three to five seconds. And I was like, doctor, that really hurt. And he was like, Yeah, yeah I wasn't lying to you. I, was I like, wasn't lying. Oh, to you. I was like, it really did. That did not feel good. No, I feel like all I your really pain hurt. receptors Ouch. are there, and like your skin's so much thicker. It was just yeah. like, oh, it just felt like he was like stab. It hurt way more than a tattoo. I don't know about childbirth because it was like you know, oh, it only lasted three to five seconds. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I feel like like not the same comparison, but it definitely was a different pain than a tattoo is. Mm. And it really, really hurt. Ugh. And then he scooped it out. Ah. The granuloma was sent to a farm to be sent sent out to the pasture. A farm. (laughs) I miss it dearly. And now (laughs) I have a black spot on my hand. And Keith said it looks like I got hit with a BB gun. Yeah, it kind of does. It does kind of look like it's like ingrained. It looks still pretty fresh. How how long ago was that? Just like a couple days. Oh, okay. Wow. They cauterized it. Woof. Stunk. It didn't smell good. Burning flesh. They burned it. They're like. Wow, but Bex. he was right. Well, I'm glad took, you cleaned like, up five, five minutes on your hand. I <laughs> know. So now there's not like random, like there would be like blood like in our house and like really random places because I wouldn't have noticed that I oh. was bleeding and I would yeah. grab something. So like the other day I was like grabbing a cup or something and there was like blood on the inside of the counter. Mm. And I was like, oh, I was a menace. Oh, I was wow. a medical menace. Yikes. It was gross. So if you guys have messy. any granulomas that are messy, chop them off. <sighs> yeah. Chop them off, baby. How about you, Maggie? What's messy <laughs> in your life? You. What's messy? Um, I recently just switched Bowie's dog food over because they discontinued uh, the current one. Uh-oh. And I Ooh. did follow the recommendations of doing it like 25% to 50 yeah. to 75. This mm-hmm. dog is just full of poop. I think he uh-huh. poops. He's been pooping like Ew. four times a day. Oh. That's my message. He always had a sensitive tummy. He's always had yeah. a sensitive tummy. So that's. And his food kind of looks like poop. Yeah, it does. Ooh. Comes in a little baggie and you squeeze it out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like pate. <laughs> yeah. It is kind of, it did look like pate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thawed pate. 
beautiful. Yeah. So that's what's happening in my life. Just just drowning poop everywhere. in dog poop. Poop. Mm. So and many it's poop been raining bags. in LA. So is there like wet poop in your backyard? Um, no, we, we're pretty good at picking in. it up <laughs> right when it happens. It's all fertilizing. <laughs> yeah, hey. Fertilizing the bushes right it's now. It's good for the, for the berries, trees. the yeah, citrus yeah. trees. I mean, the squirrels, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, 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 yum. They're desperate around here. You Mud know? pie. Mm-hmm. What about you, Matt? So mine is also animal related. It's uh, my quail coops. Oh. Mm-mm. But it's not even the poops because the poops are gross too to clean up and stuff. But two of my quail got in a fight. Oh, was it and Roger like, again? Yes, it was definitely Roger. He's just a bully. <laughs> and like spick on the other one. But I opened up the quail coop the other day and it was just like blood splatter. Like oh. it looked like oh something had been like massacred. Like I, crazy. They fight to the death? They fight. But then you check them and they don't have, there's like no, there's not a scratch. Like you oh. can't even tell where it comes from. Just like. Did you count them? Little Nick. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they're still, they're also there. They're all fine. There's, there's literally nothing like no. You know, Weird. no like scrapes, bruises, yeah. anything on them. So I think they just got one nick and then they go crazy and the blood just like oh. all over the cage and stuff. But I opened it and I was like, oh my God. What happened in here? Yeah. I have but a dumb okay. question. Just clean it up. But you yeah. might know since you have birds. Do birds pee? They poop and pee at the same time. Yeah, it's the Don't same. Don't fact check me though. Fact uh, check me. <laughs> no, we should fact check. Yeah. I think it's you the same. You said it with such authority. I well, was like, I used to have well, a bird. that makes sense. I, think I used it's to the have same. many birds. And your bird peed and pooped. They pee and poop at the same time? Yeah. yeah it's they just only like have watery poop. Wait, you used to have birds? Yeah. When I was younger, I wasn't allowed to have dogs or cats because my parents were what really strict. What type of bird did you have? Uh-huh. I had cockatoos. Mm. I had Whoa. Um, oh my God, multiple. parakeets. Oh my gosh. Um... Yeah, one of my dog, one of my uh, birds' names was Eugene. <gasps> oh my yeah. god, Eugenia. Eugenia. Oh well, god, so cute. and then Eugene laid an egg, and so then we called her Eugenia. Eugenia. <laughs> she laid Eugenia. an egg. She laid an egg. Did it hatch? We tried. Oh no, god. it didn't hatch. Oh. It might not have been fertilized. It wasn't fertilized either. And me and my younger sisters at the time thought that for sure we like did everything we could to make sure that that they had. The bird had enough this, of the supplies. The bird felt supported. Exactly, in its exactly. Labor and then I journey. I was like thinking about it. I was like, wait, we only have one. Journey. We only had one bird, but usually birds need to feel. I feel like they have to have like they have to secrete some sort of hormone. Yeah, maybe our bird loved Ducks. us enough. They got a fox, <laughs> and they have to like feel not stressed. So yeah. they were really You're happy a, in our house. Yeah, <laughs> You're an I will say, caretaker. Exactly, a good pr- bird parent. So yeah. was it true? Yeah. It they was. Pee and poop out the same hole. See, wow. you're lying. I, I mean, I, I, I said it, but I was just like, you know, I know that, but I have not read it in a textbook. So that's why that's bird poop is always just like liquid, kind of liquidy too. You know, it's yeah. never like a solid. Mm-hmm. Yucky. Okay, gross. Okay, gross. Are you going to get Henny a bird one day? <gasps> Are you a bird girl? Truly oh. never. No? I don't like birds. Kind of freak me out. What about reptiles? Um, I feel like they smell bad. Mm. He's got cats. Rodent? Oh, no, cat. Never mind. I mean, cats. fish. You know what? Honey did like these fish at uh, the children's hospital. They had this Salt fish water? tank, mm. and he was like Beautiful. enthralled by the fish. Mm-hmm. And then my mom was like, You should get him a fish tank. And then now I understand the mom plight of, Well, who's going to clean the fish tank? Oh, yeah. It's me. You it's going to be Becky. It's me. You're turning into oh, Kim. And I learned a fun fact. I learned it from, I have a new the mommy friend tank. and oh. she's a production designer mm. and she did a, a commercial with a pet company and she said, because I was like, what's the weirdest thing you've ever learned at your job? You know, icebreaker type thing. Mm-hmm. And she said that goldfish should not be in round bowls. It's too much stimulation. Mm. It like makes them go crazy. Oh. oh. So she said like when you're watching Where? commercials now for like, um, pet stores or like any like fish type things, yeah. you'll notice that it's all flat. Oh, because oh. the round ones are too much. Yeah, I guess because then you can't see the end. Mm-hmm. You know, right. Like, they said it was like too. It's like too crazy for their little fish heads. The little to fish comprehend. Heads. Wow. So you're getting goldfish. The little hearing. Nemo brains. You're getting goldfish. I'm hearing. Mm, no, he might. He could have another cat. If maybe like a betta fish might end up in your stocking this year. <gasps> maybe a beta, I actually had a betta fish when I was younger. Yeah. Betas are pretty. We actually got two betta fish, and then we learned that oh. you're not supposed to have <gasps> two betta fish. Oh no! Because <laughs> then one it wants to be the alpha beta, and then one yeah, has you to can be only keep, you can only have one beta. That's it. That's it. Unless you I have mean, multiple tanks, it's a cruel world. Right? Yeah, yeah. That's when you have two tanks close. next to each other, so they what can see each other. I make my whole living room a fish tank. <gasps> I mean, that would be a spectacle. 
<laughs> It'll be a choice. Mm-hmm. Talk about a good conversation starter for your parties. Yeah. All of our parties. All of our parties. <laughs> That's all we would talk about. All of our parties. Would be Becky's fish tank. Do you, you know Becky has a fish tank? <laughs> in living, Do you know her whole living, room? living room is a fish tank? It's a fish tank. You go swimming in it. <gasps> a dream. The pool. Honestly. Yeah. It could be a pool. Like those old um, the koi houses. Ponds. The pretty houses. What? A moat? No. Um, <laughs> the pretty houses. <laughs> what's the house in the Barnstall Art Park? What's that house? There's a pool in it. An indoor swimming pool? I don't yeah, know. it's like a famous just architect. Oh. I don't think it's, what's his name? I don't think it's Frank Lloyd Wright, but it might be. But there's, there's like pools. It's like old, like 70s vibes. Oh, just like koi ponds type vibe. Yeah, but like in your house. Like in, in your house. Yeah, not in the courtyard. Not in the outside of your house. Oh, in the inside of your house. But then you always, I feel like then you get the aquatic smell, you know? It's either going to be the the smell of like the chemicals to keep it clean or like the pond smell. Like not thinking of a smell when I, the last time I was at the aquarium, unless you're like in the the penguin section. You don't really see because you're behind a lot of stuff. Been to the aquarium of the Pacific. (gasps) Becky, Henry would love it. We should go. Where is it? In Long Beach. In Long Beach, yeah. that's one. Or of we can go to the Monterey Bay oh, Aquarium. Away, the Monterey Bay the one's Bay. really cool. The I Monterey, Monterey Bay. Really cool. Maggie's a big best. aquarium fan. <laughs> big fan. It's really cool. <laughs> She's an aquarium <laughs> aficionado. I yeah. love an aquarium. And then you go to the boardwalk and you have your clam chowder and stuff and you can see <gasps> I do all love the wildlife chowder. that you saw in the aquarium in the bay. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, it's cool. That's a lot. Yeah. We gotta go. Just I'm down. Hop, skip, jump, and away. You know, Long I'm Beach down. is really pretty. Mm-hmm. I went recently, and I was like, I should be going here <gasps> frequently. It's so pretty, but it's so far away. It's really a long drive. One of my best friends lives there, and sometimes it's forty minutes to get to her house, yeah. and sometimes it's two hours. Yeah, yeah. So L.A. Just, man, L.A. Just get in your helicopter. Uh, if only <laughs> your PJ. Uh, <laughs> my PJ, <laughs> yeah, not a helicopter. Too scary. Rainy, do you have something that's messy in your yeah. life? Uh, well, what's the messiest situation the in your life? I that thought, sounded like you had some drama. Oh, should I? Do I have drama? No, yeah. I was just thinking of my what I did before I left for this job today hmm. oh. was put vinegar in my sink because the drain is starting to like rust. Oh, oh no. so I read you're supposed to leave it overnight. Oh, oh that's pretty good. Yeah. But we'll see if it helps or hinders if it doesn't work you can boil vinegar and put it on top well, oh yeah do you know what kind of pipes you this. have is it will it you erode? shouldn't put yeah i mean you shouldn't do it a lot you can do it every once in a while okay okay but as long as it's not like if you have like pvc oh okay that's very good to know because because sure? there's still time because really it's like corrosive is vinegar mm. corrosive, corrosive enough metal? i'm i know drano gel probably not great for PVC piping just because. Oh. But vinegar, I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't have my phone. Google. Vinegar is not that Google. corrosive though. Google. Google it Vinegar is not that corrosive though. Because yeah. you can like put it in your in your uh, dishwasher? Laundry. Laundry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. True. Yeah. And it's fine. Every, they say it's like fine. It's not like going to mess anything up. Do, yeah. do you want me to ask Google it. Google? Ask Google. Can. I don't want to get canceled. I was just saying it's corrosive. Put- <laughs> vinegar but I feel like I was doing it like every day and then I googled PVC. something and it said like not to do it and I was like oh. so I was putting it in my drain for the the garbage disposal oh yeah because I feel like that was on mm-hmm. TikTok for a little bit of vinegar like vinegar mm-hmm. will put not the, harm yeah. your water yeah. pipes stick to white distilled vinegar if you have PVC piping oh <gasps> phew I mean I was like gonna take a little pail and like take it because it's sitting it's like <laughs> you know pale. so it didn't it, yeah so it doesn't go through the pipes but it's no, safe it can go through no I feel like yeah, unless you have perfect. metal because then it maybe it's reacts. So with metal metal's more. bad. Well, because then the the vinegar probably reacts with your metal pipes, like the lead ones. That'd be my guess. Really? Over PVC. Yeah, because that's all the old pipes, like all, especially all the drain pipes, used to be like cast iron. How do you know? Like lead. You don't know. Just look under your house. Matt's gonna come over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Someone needs to tell me what kind of pipes. Wait, I but have. you. I mean, rent, it's an apartment. It's not right? your place anyway. So <laughs> yeah. Rainy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Throw whatever you want down. Oh, the train. Okay. Good. <laughs> yeah. As long as it's not gonna like k- kill me. If no. I put no. it down the drain. Yeah. No. Just Get call your landlord if it does kill you. <laughs> well, yeah, I'll sue. I will be suing if I die. <laughs> so you have a messy sink. Yeah, so I have a messy sink. I'm hoping that this is going to yeah. help it, but who knows? But you guys did sort of go above and beyond with that. I was like, I need a poop story. As you guys were talking. I was like, everybody is doing poop I except me. Poop Mine story. started poop, but then it went to blood. So, you know, <laughs> yeah. different. Different. Yeah, but I mean, that's a, this is 
that's physical mess. But I yeah. feel like these are going to be emotional mess. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. true. That's true. That's a great What's segue. The I absolutely love gift giving, but it can really add up. That's why this holiday season, I'm shopping Quince. Quince is my go-to place for luxury essentials at affordable prices for everyone on my list, including me. Quince offers a range of high quality items with prices within reach, like 100% Mongolian cashmere sweaters from $50, washable silk tops and dresses, cotton sweaters, and even comfy pants. The best part is that all Quince items are priced 50 to 80% less than similar brands. That's why I'm giving the gift of Quince's buttery soft cashmere to my nearest and dearest this year. By partnering directly with top factories, Quince cuts the cost of the middleman and passes the savings on to us. And Quince only works with factories that use safe, ethical, and responsible manufacturing practices and premium fabrics and finishes, which we absolutely love. I'm obsessed with my Quince cotton fisherman sweater. It is so comfy. It's so cozy. It's really easy to dress up for the holidays. Get affordable luxury for everyone on your list with Quince. Go to quince.com slash sit with us for free shipping on your order and 365 day returns. That's Q-U-I-N-C-E dot com slash sit with us to get free shipping and 365 day returns. Quince dot com slash sit with us. Emotional <laughs> messes that you have okay. for us, messy Matt. So Jay sent us a message. Just, Names change for privacy. Yes. Just friends. To start from the beginning, I matched with someone off of a dating app. I couldn't stop <laughs> thinking about this person, but unfortunately he works a job where he has to be on the road for months at a time. But when he is not on the road, we're in the same city. We keep in touch, but nothing crazy until the summer after we had met when he had a break from work. We spent the summer hanging out all the time and sleeping together. <laughs> Wait, the the emphasis is sleeping, sleeping together, together. <laughs> which was 1,000 out of 10, by the way. <gasps> That's we love good to hear it. We love That's to hear it. Get a girl. 1,000. Get a girly. Well, I even met his family who ended up loving me. <laughs> Everyone just assumed we were an item, which neither of, the, uh, which neither of us ever addressed. The problem mm. is that he would have to do these short trips for about two weeks at a time. And every time he left, he would freak out a bit and make sure we were just friends. Oh, I mean, there's already this is only a halfway through the story, but there's already so many red flags, right? Red you flag, met on a red dating flag. app. You think that's, that's red flag? a red flag? No, yeah. but you met on a dating app. The, what's the purpose of a dating app? To date. To date, and then he's freaking out at you <laughs> oh, because you're I, not oh, dating. <laughs> Rain was, like, was like, "Why are you showing up dating apps?" <laughs> no, it's um, because they met on a dating app. Yeah, and yeah. he doesn't. And then date. he doesn't want to date you, but you met on a dating app because he wanted mm -hmm. to date. You know what I mean? Yeah, so he it's wanted like, to hook up. What's going on? Okay. Yeah. Right? Red yeah. flag number one. Okay. Not good. And these short trips. I don't trust it. Yeah. I'm like, what yeah. do you? She never said these what he did yet. So I'm like, what do you trip. do on mm -hmm. these short trips? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He has a lot of unhealed relationship trauma. And I understood that. So I gave him space. He was married, then cheated on, then separated, and then got divorced. Mm. So you can imagine how scary it was for him when he was expecting me, the first person he went on a date with post-separation, to be simply a hookup and turned out to be someone he wanted to keep in his life. I mean, run around with the red flag. You know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? I feel like it's Whee! not. Well, let's keep going. Yeah. <laughs> I have been patient and he left for work in August for what will be eight months. He encouraged me to come visit him. And so I decided to book a ticket. But... Sometime between August and November, he did his usual freak out and had a conversation with himself instead of with me. How does okay, she know keep that? going. Keep going. How does she know that? How does she know that? <laughs> How does she know that? How does she know that? I decided that when I went to visit him, I would have a final "What do you want from me?" conversation. Oh, out of the country. What do you? What do we? DTR. An international DTR is risky. International. Well, I also don't like how she phrased, what do you want from me? Uh huh. That's not a like yeah. healthy way to be yeah. thinking about a possible relationship with someone, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Well, apparently another person appeared <gasps> who caught his interest, who feeds his savior complex that he has been working hard to fix. Oh, no. 
But she works with him and it's easier to slip into old bad habits than to actually do what is good for yourself. So those two week trips. Oh, oh. The one who he works with. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Red flags running around. Yeah. Red flag thrown. (laughs) Red flag on the field. So it's easier (laughs) to slip into old habits than to do what is actually good for yourself. So I showed up in the middle of him kind of trying to start things with her (gasps) and being afraid of us being anything more than friends. Okay, I'm throwing a red flag at her too. There's a red flag on her side now. Seriously, of course, it's someone he works with, but they have a long history. And she also just got a relationship and is extremely needy and emotionally manipulative. (gasps) Oh, no. How do you know this, my girl? Red flag. Yeah. Red flag. His work best friend and I talked a lot on this trip and can both and we can both see that Red he is flag. simply <laughs> running from healing and allowing himself to be truly happy. Red flag. <laughs> it is really hard to have someone tell you that someone you care about lights up when they talk about you, but you can do nothing but be friends with that someone you want a life with. Oh. I think we need to look at expectations here. <laughs> yeah. Dating app, right? Yeah. Crazy. Okay, it's not done yet. The guy and I had the long conversation and he did apologize and told me he truly wants to keep me in his life as a friend. (gasps) He also very seriously listened to my advice about what he's doing with this new girl and knows that I was being genuine and able to take my feelings out of the equation. I was like, is that true? (laughs) Huh? I don't think. Is that true? Uh Uh-uh. I feel like that's not true. I think she's having a conversation with herself. (laughs) Right? Like she's convincing herself that that's what he got Uh from a conversation. I'm writing this as I'm leaving the trip and going home, probably only to see him next year. Now I have to simply hope he protects his peace and I have to emotionally get over someone I never dated and just allow them to be my friend, which I'm okay with because I would rather do that than lose him for my life entirely. It is messy and complicated and he will always have a soft spot on my heart, but I can't really do anything else but be a good friend. But is it complicated? (laughs) I don't feel like I think I'm it's pretty not, straightforward. I'm, I feel like it's pretty straightforward. Yes. But the sex was a hundred out of ten. A thousand. A thousand. <laughs> a thousand out of ten. I mean, get it, girl. Yeah. 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 Maybe that's what's making it. It's quiet. hard to let go of that. Yeah. But. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'll, there's a lot of red flags in here. Mm-hmm. And I think maybe she was just blinded by yeah. 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 her sexual encounters with him. I mean, she what's wanted the, to keep going. Yeah. Like the straightforward part is how would you describe it? The situation? I would say from an outsider's perspective, what she has written in is she was hooking up with a guy that she was not dating. Mm-hmm. He was going on his job and hooking up with someone at his work mm-hmm. who he's not dating. And she is expecting him to be all of these things, like a boyfriend mm-hmm. to fulfill mm-hmm. all of these roles for her. Yeah. But and she's putting a lot on him. Like right. this is what he's thinking. This is our, what his emotions are. And it's like, well, mm-hmm. you're not his mom. You're not his therapist. And you're not him. So like all of those things that you think he's thinking, it doesn't yeah. sound like he's telling you that. No. Right. It sounds like he's telling you he just wants to be friends. Yes. Yeah. Which is tough and unfun. Yes. But then also he went to go. She went to go visit him. Right. And he's dating this girl. Yeah. And then she's supposed to like stay friends with him with this girl. That girl's not going to want her to be friends. You know what I mean? Yeah. Seems like like he wants to have his cake and eat it too. And just like have her in his life as like a little doll that he gets to play with Mm -hmm. every so often. And then he gets to put her away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When he's in the mood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like she needs to like. That's what I was like. She needs to cut him out. Yeah. (laughs) Cut him out. Cut him off. Cut him off. Delete. Yeah, yeah. he's number. not thinking about you the way you're thinking about him. Yeah. And you deserve better than that. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It also yes. seems like she's thinking about him way more than he is thinking about her. Mm-hmm. Yes. And it's like for your health and sanity, like cut I also that feel cord. like in general, when people are getting out of really serious things, it's hard for them to imagine getting into something else, right? So he mm-hmm. like just got separated and divorced when she met him. Well, so what were her expectations? that's not what she said. She said she met him when he got separated. Yeah. Mm. So he was not divorced when she met him. He wasn't even divorced so, then. So, so she was like, ex- I feel like she's like an emotional crutch for this guy. Mm-hmm. You know? So you're saying she's having the savior complex. Maybe a little. 
I mean, she did say he needs to heal. He needs mm-hmm. to heal like a bunch of times. Yeah. Like, okay, like you need to work on yourself. It's like, well. I just hope yeah. that she looks back and reflects on her actions too, you know? Because it's a lot of like, he's doing this, he's doing that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's not like how I could have avoided being in this, you know? Yeah. Because mm-hmm. I feel like at the end of the day, that's what we all want to do, right? We want to like get better, hopefully, get mm-hmm. better, mm-hmm. stronger. <laughs> improve how do we avoid things like that in the future yeah mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. yeah i think as much as she wants to stay friends with him yeah it's probably the healthier thing to not yeah yeah i think so i think she needs to cut the ties yeah and self-reflect and heal would you text she obviously needs to heal and heal would you officially cut the ties or would you just like drift off would you be like hey we should stop talking or would you just not respond I feel like from the way she talked about him, she could not respond and he yeah, would not, not that care. he wouldn't care, but yeah. I feel like he wouldn't pursue anymore. Yeah. yeah. I feel like if she stopped giving him attention. Yeah, I think that's probably from a true. totally outsider perspective. Yeah, from just from this the way she wrote on right? this thing, it sounds like he would just be like, Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Continue well, I'm gonna continue person. with this other yeah. person. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Messy. Messy. Me- I think the, me- see, the peak messiness messy. of the story is when she went to go see him. Yeah. That was really messy. Yeah. I also think yeah. some boundaries were crossed when she went to talk to his work best friend. I was like, there does have to be some separation of your work and personal life. So like yeah. maybe that was kind of uncomfortable for the work best friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to, have, like, to be talking about this. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what he does. I really wish we knew. It's never said. <laughs> but well, yeah. Good luck. Definitely good luck. Godspeed. Glad you walked away. Yeah. But walk away more. Walk further away. <laughs> you know? I have to commend her for, you know, what she did well, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? yeah. She, like, recognized that it wasn't going to be a healthy situation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. She yeah. seems very empathetic. Yes. But I feel like it's now being weaponized against her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So she needs to snatch that back. Walk away. Drive your own life. Beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Okay, next one. This is also a long one. I told you, these are meaty stories. There's a lot in there. Juicy. Juicy. Juice. These are yeah. juicy burgers. Juicy burgers. Give us the burger juice, Matt. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is from M. Okay. okay. M. M. So there's something that happened to me a while ago that I thought I'd share. I'm 25 now, but when I was 19, so six years prior, I started dating someone who was 25. No. Uh-oh. Red flag. Mm, red flag. I know. And I didn't think about it then. But I do now. Well, yeah, because mm-hmm. you were a kid. <laughs> After two years of dating, I had to leave the U.S. and moved abroad. We tried long distance. Okay. We tried yeah. long distance. But we grew apart and I broke up with him about six to eight months later. Good for her. A long time, but, you know, glad she finally did it. He kept writing me every week. And it would be flirty. And how he was so depressed. And no one would make him feel better. How he was so sad. And no one understood his life like I did. I would tell his sister to look out for him and I would not respond to him. Only for a girl to later message me telling me to stop writing her boyfriend. (gasps) Like, who is your boyfriend? Because I'm not talking to any guys. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. That is queen behavior. (laughs) It was then when I found out this girl and my ex's anniversary date was the day after I left the U.S., and he had been cheating on me the whole time. He then told me to fuck off and to not ruin his relationship. Uh? When I didn't even message the girl, she found me. And how am I ruining anything? It's his actions. He never told her about me. She left she left him and he has us both blocked. So now Ooh. no one will get no one will know what happened. I did tell his close family and they're well aware of what happened from my point of view. Hmm. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> I don't know why she felt the need to tell them. <laughs> because I still follow some of his family members. <laughs> I've noticed that he has a new girlfriend. <gasps> Man. Another no, one. <laughs> who has no idea of any of the things he's done. <gasps> oh, sometimes, man. Girlfriend. Sometimes we, the girl who messaged me and I, Wish we could let this girl know that this guy is all types of screwed This is up. the plot of the other woman movie. Starting <laughs> with the fact that he got me to be with him while I was still 19. 
I'm 25 now and I wouldn't think twice about, and I would not, and I wouldn't think, and I would think twice about dating a 19 year old. Yeah. yeah. Meaning yes. she wouldn't do it. Yeah. Yes. And the fact that he was able to cheat while in long distance for six to eight months while messaging me and flirting after we woke up and dating his ex at the same time. Also, the day of, the day she left yeah. was their yeah. anniversary. So there's probably a little crossover. Yeah, there's definitely yeah crossover. absolutely. Any advice? Many people say to let it be because sharing what he did with us, with this current girl, might not change anything. And I get it. But sometimes I wish I could give this girly a little warning too. Uh, it's very John Tucker must die I vibes. No. This is crazy. Like, how did the girl <laughs> how did the girl find her? You know what I mean? She had to have snooped. She snooped. Yeah. yeah. She oh, yeah. had to have of course snooped, she snooped to find the messages that this guy was sending to her. Yeah. Yeah. Right? But yeah. then then she would have seen the blocks of text right. without responding. Right. Exactly. So mm-hmm. why would she be mad at the like writer in then, maybe she just saw like her name in his DMs and was like, oh, why is this person in the DMs? Why are you talking yeah. to this girl? Yeah, but then yeah. why didn't she confront the man about the girl? Why is she confronted the girl about? Well, it? often Matthew, often. yeah, that happens. <laughs> that happens. Like That's you tempted bad him. Yeah, you. That's bad behavior, Becky. <laughs> bad Agreed. behavior. <laughs> Agree. Yeah, but then I also don't understand why she's still talking with his family. Like how long? They shouldn't say how long they were dating. I guess. Yeah, I feel like it's More another, like, you need to cut ties with this person. Number one, yes, you should absolutely think twice if you're 25 years old. Dating a 19-year-old, don't do that. Kind yeah. of a significant age it's gap a big age. at that point. Yes, it's yeah. legal, but yeah. that's... Ugh. You're in different life stages, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. What, what do you have in common? Mm-hmm. Different cognitive Come levels. On. Yeah, yes, let's not true. do that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, cut that man off. Cut that creepy man off. And don't talk to his family anymore. Um, and now she's like good friends with the girly, I guess, the ex girlfriend. I mean, they love to talk. see women come together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but I almost feel like she's trying to be vindictive, right? Oh, she wants definitely. to warn this yeah. other girly. No, she wants to get back at him, right? right. Oh. By telling yeah. family. Think? I think tell- it could be both. Oh. I think she yeah. is worried about someone else succumbing to his shenanigans. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But also. Could he have changed though? He probably won't. He'll probably find somebody else. I don't know. Yeah. Once a cheat. I mean, now he's 31, cheat. right? She's 25 now. Yeah. Then mm-hmm. he's 30. He's like 31 now because it's been six years. Yeah. He's his family's problem now. Cut him off. Cut him off. Yeah. You told Cut his family off. what he did. Also, yeah. that's a very manipulative behavior to be like, you're the only one who understands me. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like his mental health is not your Burden to bear. Right. No. You know? Unpack that load. Take that book bag off. Burn it. No. That is not. That does not belong to, be to you. And I don't think it's healthy to like keep dwelling on this man. Like you got to live no. and let live. Like mm-hmm. time to go. Yeah. I think she should. Say just, goodbye. Yeah. I don't think. Don't. Don't. Don't tell the girl. Don't, don't tell do the girl. It. Don't it's get yourself your involved. It's not yeah. worth your mental yeah. space. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Everyone has to learn. It does seem like he's taking up a lot of mental space in her mind. Yeah, mm-hmm. I hate that. And I want to erase that for her so she can free it up for fun things. Yeah. <laughs> like you know, fostering her new beautiful friendship with this other girl. Yes. Yeah. At least she has support yes. from. Oh, that's a good thought. Yeah. From all of this, I guess. Mm-hmm. Be like, mm-hmm. wasn't he such a piece of shit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Let's take a shot. <laughs> 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 That's how I imagine the conversation going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I cut the cut the cut the ties. Cut them. Yeah. That's the theme, really. Is not messiness. It's cutting the ties. Cutting off the yeah. mess. Cut the mess away. Cutting yes. off the mess. Do not do like I mean, John Tucker must die. I mean, have you ever been in such a messy situation? I will say, I know two of my friends <gasps> have, um, like, they like went on a date with a guy, or were supposed to hook up with a guy on a day that then later they found out on social media was an anniversary. <gasps> like that day, two. What? Two separate That's people. a lot. I know. So I'm like, I think that's a thing of like guys somehow, I don't, or I don't know. Like Weird. Are, I like, know. They were like, oh, okay, like I guess going on multiple dates at once on one day saying, will you be my girlfriend on the same day that you wow. have another date? Yeah. And now this girl too. How do the people have the time? Yeah, yeah where do people get the time to do these things? I feel like it's a lot of emotional in energy day. to like, yeah. even, like imagine. connect with one person, let alone like two or three. My goodness. Yeah. 
How do you yeah, find them too? I can't yeah. find one. The dating apps. They have multiple. I know. Apps. I gotta. I gotta. <laughs> rainy, on well, rainy, rainy on Raya. Rainy on Raya. Rainy on Raya. <laughs> yeah. How's your rainy on Raya journey going? It's going horrifically. I'm still oh. no, still no word. Still so huh? Yeah. I also am like I, I. Yeah. I don't know. I think I maybe I need to get back into hinge grind set, but I don't know. Maybe I'll move my location to like a, like what's the hottest city in LA? Silver Lake. Silver Lake's yeah. fun. Silver Lake's good. That's Santa hit. Monica. Yeah. I mean, but then you have to drive to. I feel like it's what yeah. type of vibe are you looking for? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who's the person that you want to be? Oh, and then yeah. you can start there. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe a networking event. If you want to meet someone bad, in like actually. media, you could go to like a networking thing. Yeah. You know actually, I mean? Rainy, you should get idea. into pickleball. Yes. <gasps> oh <laughs> you my can God. pickle. You have a pickleball hookup <laughs> you right can here. Pickle. Yeah. You and Zach are you. really pickling. Zach's been You're pickling picklers. more than I have. Yeah. He's been going oh in gosh. every day before work. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh Pickleheads. He like, he'll like shake me in the morning. He's like, you want to go pickle? And I'm like, no, I'm going to sleep in. You want to pickle? But, okay. Pickle you know, also else pickles. Because they you also do are open paired play. up, right? You, you're paired with random people. And you kind of like oh. switch off. Yeah. That's a good way to meet some people. What's Remember? the usual Say age yes. demographic? Yes. So the age demographic is very wide. <laughs> okay, Last well, week we I don't want Rainy with like an 80-year-old man. I know, man. I played an 80-year-old man. Another place. <laughs> <laughs> I got some ideas. Or do we? <laughs> we could go to the dog park, Rainy. I think oh. that's very good also. Oh. I definitely Rainy want a dog animals. lover. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody with Rainy a cute dog. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if their dog likes me, then they'll like me. Exactly. Chain of command. And that's just like yeah. an open. Open place. Yeah. yeah. Kind of open like, you, it's, yeah, you can definitely chat with people. You it's don't have to really to think about like icebreakers. You just. Oh, who's, is, who's, who's this? Yeah. <laughs> is that what you <laughs> But then what are they going to say when they're like, and your dog is. <gasps> that's He's over there. He kind of is. somewhere. You could give a sob story. My dog just died. You could just point. <laughs> so I'm here. No, you could just point in like a general direction. No. So I'm here to Don't be around dogs because I miss him so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Matt, that is red flag. Manipulative red flag. Red flag. <laughs> I love red it. It'd be flag, such good thrill. drama though, wouldn't it? That would be Why don't you let them. Rainy borrow one of good. your dogs? You have three. Oh, well, that's true. Bar, I can borrow pesto. Yeah. <laughs> Kimba, Kimba is at your house already, ready to go. He's already there. <laughs> does he like the dog park? Will he does he um, is he friendly to other dogs? Oh yeah. Oh good. Yeah, but he doesn't really like they don't pay that much attention to the other dogs at the dog park. Pesto will just stand next to you so you can oh, be like, well, this is like, my dog. They like explore the dog park, but not the dogs. That's weird. They're like antisocial there for some reason. Probably too <laughs> too chaos. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they like their controlled space. Yeah. No new friends. Yeah. No new friends. I Only get that the vibe. Mm. Only the three just of them. Just the three of them. They just like their just dads. The their quiet friends. little life with their <laughs> quails. <laughs> <laughs> their quail. I mean, Hills sit and watch the quail for hours <laughs> and hours. Yeah. He's on patrol. Hunting. <laughs> <laughs> That's where all that blood if came from. If he had the opportunity, <laughs> he would have already eaten them all. Ooh, you know, rainy. You could take gone. like a pottery class. Too. I think pottery is good. Oh. Pottery, that's I hot. feel like I got all these ideas for I know. you. I, There's I, like a yeah. place on Beverly that oh. like do they have like two studios. And there last time I went, there was like a good variety of young people. Really? <laughs> young people. I'm yeah. surprised. Okay, senora. <laughs> <laughs> I was picturing like an older crowd at the pottery place. But no. no. There's like a no, There's I There's my say, future husband. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, right there on Beverly. Yeah, right I, on Beverly. <laughs> I gotta go because I do love a pottery. Throwing pots. Throwing pots. Because that's the thing. It's like I can go out, but I don't really like going out. So then w- I'm gonna meet people who like going out. But if yeah. I go to pottery, I do like going to pottery. Yeah, I meet that that kind of person. Yeah, that's true. Link an activity yeah. together. Yeah, mm-hmm. I know. Well, I am still. I still think about how you guys were like. Yeah, I probably went on like fifty to hundred dates. I, I don't know if you were there for that episode. I was like, that wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite a few days. That's a lot of days. <laughs> I think you said that, though. For what? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, when, in Kelsey, my whole life? When Kelsey Darrow was here, yeah. First oh. day. Yeah, in your whole oh, life. In my whole life? No, not 100. Oh, wait, maybe it was David Dang. Sorry. So you're I a think liar. It was David Dang. Yeah. Mm. How many do you think wow. you've been on? How many first dates? Mm-hmm. Probably like 30 or 40. I don't know how many first dates I've been on. My eyes won't stop. Probably three hundred at this point. Jeez, Probably like five, six hundred <laughs> each night in the food hall at yeah. school was <laughs> a date. Yeah, I really got snatched up young. So I was like, I was like college. It wasn't like we even went on like date dates. Mm. Yeah. Maybe like I went on dates and then I like dated people. Mm-hmm. Probably the shortest I ever saw someone was like three weeks. Did Matt, like a have couple you ever dates gone didn't work out, and I was like, mm. multiple dates in one night. Have you ever <gasps> done that? No, I never did that. Mm. 
Have you? No. <laughs> I, I was just wondering. <laughs> if I was on a, most of the time it'd be like, you go on a date and you'd be like, I'd rather be hanging out with my friends. You know? Oh, yeah. yeah. So why would you stack dates that were all probably going to be, I mean, that's probably a bad mindset to go in thinking that like, you'd rather be with your friends before you even go on the date. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Rainy, you go hang out. do you go to a gym? It says Eugene and Matt met oh, at the gym. That's true. My yeah. sister and her boyfriend also met at the gym. So that could mm-hmm. be big. But that I don't really, I usually just run outside. Or but like a or yoga like class. Fitness classes. Oh, could yeah. you run somewhere like a, like oh, like a, a, a running, running club? club. Yeah. That's a good a run idea. Club? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Or a walk club. Sometimes a they walk do club hike is club. Oh, yeah. Just I'm on my way uh, on the mountain, finding love on a mountain. Oh, I love that journey. Good. Have you thought about a dating show? See, that is interesting <laughs> to me. We a dating get... show. Yeah. yeah. I think that could like be really a, big. Make it I feel like we can get her on The Bachelorette or one yeah. of those franchises. Bachelorette. Yeah. yeah. There's so one many. of the offshoots. There's so many. Yeah, yeah. There's so many offshoots. Love is Blind. Love is Blind. Love is Blind. Love is Blind, Love is blind makes me, that is nerve wracking. That's nerve Love and Blind seems mm-hmm. like an ordeal. Those people are yeah. like sleeping in the pods. You know what I mean? They're like oh, so yeah. many. Talking yeah. with people and dating and stuff, they're like asleep on the couch. Yeah, like, it, it looks, looks exhausting. Like, it looks yeah. like sleep deprivation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, twenty four seven. Looks exhausting. I don't yeah. want that. Having to talk with all these people. Yeah. Okay, Rainy, we don't want you on that one. Yeah, that one's too hard. Mm-mm. That one's mm-hmm. too challenging. What about more like Love Island? <laughs> Love Island, oh. I think would be really fun because then you get a girl gang too. I feel like yeah. it's oh, like your yeah. friends. Yeah. yeah. It it's a fun. building community through Love Island. Yeah. Building Dancing with the stars. Community. I actually think that it would be fun to do like a Love Island, but like it's not even filmed. Somebody can set that up. So it's oh. like low so production value. But it's just like you just try and date people. Yeah. Just Real life love island. island dating. Yeah. Love Island. I want to see like an adult, not daycare, an adult day <laughs> camp. <laughs> <laughs> really? Have you thought of daycare? <laughs> Hot. 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 No, I know what you mean about like, okay, and then there's like obstacle courses and like mud pits or yeah. whatever. Could like adult, fun. yeah, camp. Camp? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Adult camp? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I bet Kel- Kelsey Dari went to an adult camp. This is fun. One of my yeah. friends got yeah. married at an adult camp. Like Cute. she ran out the whole place. So you could do like all the different activities. That's and stuff really fun. During the wedding weekend. That is really fun. Have you thought really about meeting idea. someone at a wedding? No, I think that's most uh, realistic. Yeah. I, I know. And I think I'm about wow. to get into the wedding season of my life. Whoa, your yeah. like. Buckle yeah. Because I went to Lip my first wedding. For your life. Oh. Your first wedding. As an adult, like not a flower girl. Oh. <laughs> Rainy was a flower girl. I was a flower girl for so Rainy, many you're my favorite person. <laughs> Rainy was like, I was a flower girl up until last year. Yeah. To describe it. Like constantly was a flower girl. Yeah. I just, yeah. Everybody, it's I, like everybody 27 book dresses me. with 27 flowers. Yeah. Yeah. I went to yeah. a wedding. I can't remember whose it was. I want to say Miles and Sarah's, <gasps> but correct me if I'm lying and okay. putting this on their wedding. But didn't they make all the single people stand up? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Which is great. Yeah. I work. think that's really helpful because it takes the guesswork out of like, yeah. Yeah. if people are together at the wedding and you can kind of like scan the room really fast and be like okay single single okay single. okay oh, oh, got it yeah, yeah got yeah. it mm. so yeah. you don't accidentally spend the whole night or like talking to someone yeah. for a while and then they like never bring up that they're dating someone or like yeah they're not giving dating vibes yeah and then it's like oh and then this is my girlfriend you're like oh my gosh now i'm heartbroken for no reason yeah. Like I just i just invested i just created a whole future with you yeah mm-hmm. yeah the mind yeah. games yeah, Oof. the my hands are tough, but right. That's yeah, but and this is to this to this girl's point of like it's like sometimes it's like when you have somebody who's like, you know, it's hard to let them go when you like have somebody who you like and you've like emotionally put in a lot of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard to give well, it up. Well, this next story will be a real juicy then because uh oh, a juicy okay. uh oh. Yeah. As a single young female, oh, same. Oh. <laughs> I have tried dating apps and they have not worked. Yeah. Uh, I have been ghosted <gasps> many times or it just hasn't worked out. Mostly because of my busy work schedule. I work most every weekend, evenings and holidays. Wow. And the fact that I do not want kids. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like meeting people in person, but it can be difficult. I have asked guys I've met in public places, group settings in the past, but apparently they had girlfriends. And yes, I did ask probing questions about their relationship status before asking them out, but some men can't take a hint. Mm. Oh. I try not to let it get me down. I don't know. What, I know that I'm a cool person. I enjoy spending my own company. I enjoy spending time in my own company and no, I don't need a man, but it'd be nice to have a life partner. What advice do you have for someone who has been rejected and ghosted a lot? 
And what advice do you have to ask someone out in person upon just meeting them? I mean, that takes a lot of courage. That takes yeah. a lot when of courage. When you just meet someone and was like, shooting your shot Let's that go out. way. Yeah. Yeah. You know? That's sweet. Yeah. What's your pickup? What's your go-to pickup line, Rainy? Well, I was just thinking, I was like, okay, thinking about it in public, public spaces, I was at a grocery store uh-huh. and this guy Love. like said something to me about that. I was reading the label. Okay. I'm going to be honest. I was at Air Juan. I knew it was going to be Air Juan. Air Juan. I knew it. So I was reading this, the label and I was like, so interesting. Like, this is sulfite free, but. It, but isn't sulfite in shampoo? Like, why is that relevant? So I was just like in my own head. And then this guy is like, <laughs> oh, like, how are, how's the ingredients on that? And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> like, it doesn't have sulfite, but I don't know why that's relevant. And he was like, okay, cool. And I was like, was it wine? No. Oh, okay. It was a pastry. It was like a cake. Oh. I know. It's so in- I, 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 Anyways, Aaron, I don't know. Aaron confusing. thinks. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Um, and then, so I like left. And then he came back to me. Or like I, in a different aisle, he was like, "Hey, I just like you're really pretty, and I like wanted to ask <gasps> if you wanted to get lunch." Rainy. Well, he was like older. Oh, oh rainy. and rainy. also, <laughs> <laughs> he. What I realized after I left was I was like, he wasn't shopping. Like he didn't have a basket or anything. So we could be shopping without a basket, or like no, no. Is that we? Had in nothing your hands. in his hands. Yeah, it was just. And well, at Irwan, you can get food. I, I mean, think, that's to defend I this think, man. I don't know. I, I think know. he was shopping for a girl. <laughs> for a woman. Because I shopping for like, He was shopping for a girl. How old was yeah. he, do you think? I think he was probably like 35. Two. No. Rainy? Yeah. No way. I know. So I was just sort of like, wait, what was your plan to like go to the grocery and like see, like find, see if there's pick up a, a I mean, was he going to buy you a free Irwan lunch though? Was he going to get you and that? Maybe it might have been worth it. <laughs> Buffalo like cauliflower. <laughs> On train, two sides. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I mean that Air Juan is that would sell that would sweeten the deal. But um, <laughs> how would you get out of it? Like, what did you say? I was just like, oh, did I have you a feel uncomfortable? I don't have yeah. a boyfriend. Oh. Yeah, you, but good. um, but yeah, I'm just wondering if like maybe I don't know. I do respect the asking in public because I think sometimes that can be romantic. But sometimes I think just it's like a little overwhelming. So she might be mm. getting rejected not mm. because of her. But just because of it's like more of a movie mm, thing than a real life context. thing, you know. Yeah. Or it's just like, whoa. I, I guess if someone like runs up to you in the park and like asks you, you're like, "Have you been stalking me?" Yeah, like, yeah. You know? yeah. Like where that's are you interesting. From? It's it's the bet the ideal scenario is someone introduces you to someone. Yeah, right? that is like yeah. that because then that gives credibility that you're not like a weirdo. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's the dream. Maybe she could try asking around with her friends and being like, "Hey, if you know anyone that's single, yeah, I'd love to meet up." And yeah, give me a blind, put me on some have, blind dates. Yeah, or like have hang coffee out or something. Put me on some blind dates. But I do friends. get that that's harder as you get older because like even thinking about all of my friends, I'm like, oh, I really don't have that many single friends. Yeah. yeah. And I feel like sometimes, I don't know what kind of social setting she is in, but I feel like if I met someone out in public, let's yeah. say a grocery store, yeah. that does feel like a bit forced. Whereas right. like if you are interacting, let's say at like a gym where you like, oh, I've seen this person like, seven different mornings and yeah like, yeah or if you're at like a party it's like okay we both know somebody at this party like yeah. you're not a complete mm-hmm. like who knows what your mm-hmm. situation is yeah or yeah. what who you are where you come from what, or like where yeah anything about them mm-hmm. just totally random but i don't know some people probably like the adventure too of like yeah. oh sometimes it works random person yeah, That's yeah. sometimes the cold call works yeah i got yeah. hit on at a pizza pizza place when i was Uh-oh. with my parents <gasps> oh with, with your recently, parents. recently, they're like, Whoa. "Hello, they Donna. wanted the full yeah. family special." <laughs> yeah, can, can I take out your daughter, please? <laughs> yeah. Wow. What did you say? So what did they say? Were they saying, "Hey, you're so well, pretty." Well, this is what happened. Oh my god. So I already had feet. Oh this is what god. you gotta hear. <laughs> Keith said I maybe didn't respond in the best way possible. Oh god, what did you do? So this is what happened. <laughs> what, what happened was. What happened with Kim and Don were with Henny outside. Uh-huh. I went into the pizza new- place <laughs> <laughs> with a, with child. Okay. But I didn't go into the restaurant with a child. I was going in to order and come back out because we got food from one place. Mm-hmm. I was going to get a glass of wine. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I go inside to this place that I've been before. Mm-hmm. So you were going in to have a glass of wine by yourself? No, I was getting place. the wine. It's a place where you like go in and you can eat oh, outside. I see, I see, and so we got okay. food from one place. I was getting drinks oh, from yeah, another. Yeah, yeah. So I walked in and it was the day Rosanna Pancino was on this podcast. And we have been joking about like feet okay. like like wiki feet, feet type things yeah. and i was saying that like oh i just have an okay rating on wiki feet mm. like <laughs> it was like fine it mm. wasn't amazing are you on wiki? um i haven't even looked i haven't looked yeah you should look 
Um, <laughs> Try not to because it was like bring the dogs. Rachel out. and I were looking at our wiki feet. Um, anywho, was, was so Rachel I had feet on the brain already, <laughs> Wait, right? I had that wiki feet in my head because we had just been talking about wiki feet. Feet girl over here. And so I go into this pizza shop and I order my wine and the guy goes and gets the bottle and he's opening it up and he's like, are you married? And I was like, yeah. And I only had my my wedding ring on. Um, and he was like, oh, um, <laughs> does your husband ever tell you of nice feet? <gasps> <gasps> what? You were so at a bar. Like I was. Right, it wasn't a bar. It's, he, uh, he definitely has a, some foot yeah, fetish. Huh? Yeah, it wasn't a bar. It's like a. It, I'm assuming he's behind a counter. Service yeah, counter. He's, it's a service oh, counter. He's okay. a service counter. Yeah, yeah. But and I was wearing Reeboks for anyone wondering. <laughs> so Reeboks your feet weren't with even exposed. No, with slouchy things. What? And I said, um, "Oh no, I guess he's never said that." But I do have a pretty good wiki feet score. Oh no, but oh, he was my like, gosh. "Why did you say that?" And I was like, because I was trapped. I was waiting for my wine. What was I going to say? No, no, talk about my feet, you little freak. <laughs> like, I couldn't do anything. And he was like, uh, like, like oh, my gosh. gosh. <laughs> it didn't stop. He goes, yeah, I think it's because they're so small. <gasps> and I was like, this is so yeah, bizarre. Seven, seven and a half. Oh, my God, Becky. <laughs> <laughs> You're giving him. Oh, God. <gasps> what was I supposed to do? I don't know Change what I should have done differently in that situation. <laughs> I feel I think, like you changed the, the topic. I feel like you did the best you could. The I second, tried. I was like, I can't leave here. I need to get my yeah. wine. You should have been like, no, that hasn't happened. But do you have any orange wine? <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's what you should have But I said already that. ordered. He was struggling to open the bottle. I know, especially when and someone is in charge of me wanted to be like, give me the fucking bottle. Open you it myself. You could have been like, is this your first time opening the bottle? <laughs> is this your first shift? It really, I mean, it was taking a while with it. To his credit. Maybe he was doing that on purpose to keep you at the counter longer yeah i mean definitely that could have been it but to his credit he did give me a really big glass of wine oh like i've been there before those and we've gotten feet were wine. put to work that day <laughs> and i've only gotten a little bit and this one was like did your little feet, feet horse the second you got your wine my glass, tiny you little feet? run away oh, <laughs> the minute God. he passed that wine glass to me i scooted out <gasps> as fast as i could <laughs> At full speed, ran for the door. He probably was. I was like, did you get napkins? And I was like, no. <laughs> Let me tell you about this guy who likes my feet. And then, um, oh, we had ordered, I think we got like pizza or something too. And someone else brought it out. And my dad's like, is that the foot guy? <gasps> like as he's oh, dropping it off. No. And I was like, Dad. <laughs> I was like, don't make this poor man feel bad. But then I was like, mm, I guess he did talk about my feet a lot. Yeah. But I talked back. And that's what Keith said. He's like, well, you brought up the wiki feet. Right. He was like, you probably shouldn't have brought up the wiki feet. I mean, it is a, like, it's flex. If somebody's yeah. interested in feet, it's like, well, yeah. you can but find my feet. But then he thought he's going to look at your credit Keith card was like, back. Keith was he's like, well, maybe you thought he was, you were trying to show him your wiki feet or something. Oh. Or that you were like a foot person. I gotta look at my wookie feet though. You get my like feet are old. flustered. I yeah. feel like when yeah, and I don't know guard. what to say. You're just caught off guard. Yeah, yeah. You're just caught off guard. Because also, obviously, yeah, I was there with my baby. Yeah, but I guess I didn't have my baby with me, so yeah. I mean, yeah. If you're staying for a little bit, Ugh. I'm like, I don't even know, sir. Wait, but Matt, when was the last time somebody asked you out in public? Matt's like yesterday. <laughs> like Matt's like morning. once a day. I oh, know. <laughs> Every pizza yeah, boy I see. <laughs> Every day. Every <laughs> day. <laughs> You have fake numbers left and right. Oh my oh god. You give out fake numbers? I used to, yeah. <gasps> okay, you used to, not anymore. Yeah. Now I give off energy like, you know. You give off don't talk to me energy. Don't touch me. <laughs> some people don't like get it, yeah. I feel yeah. like. Yeah, some people don't. Where you're mm -hmm. like, talk to the Back hand. Back off. Talk to the granuloma. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. All right, we have one more uh, for today. Yeah, okay. One more advice. Down. Another beautiful story. Like so, I work Another in a pizza store. Messy situation. <laughs> <laughs> and the most beautiful toes I've ever seen came in. Uh, this is from Kay. There is a person who has reached out to me who is going through a myriad of really tough things. He ostracized himself from quite a few people, including myself, a year ago because of inappropriate behavior while drunk. Mm. Uh -uh. He is a current potential bag night, bad <laughs> diagnosis from a doctor. And he's also separating from the mother of his child. That person needs help. I don't feel comfortable having a one-on-one -on -one friendship with him. In the past, we only ever saw each other in a group, but he now has almost no friends, definitely no close ones, and he has reached out to me wanting to talk more. I met up with him once a few weeks ago. 
which she asked to be in a hotel room at 8 p.m. What? Red flag. <laughs> Red flag. His young son was there and the only reason why I agreed to go. Because I wanted to make sure he wasn't in a very bad place. But now that has opened a window and he has phoned me a few times, which I haven't answered. And yesterday he messaged me asking if I was free to talk. I'm okay with being friends with him in a group setting, but I'm uncomfortable being the person he leans on for support. His family has helped him and I know he's seeing a therapist, so he isn't completely alone. I'm currently just taking a long time, like half to one and a half days before applying to his messages, but I feel bad and don't know if this is the right way to deal. I don't like ignoring people, especially if I'm worried about their mental health, but I can't think of any nice way to say that I can't be that type of friend for him. Mm. What do I do? Tricky. tricky, It's tricky. tricky. Um, I feel like that person needs to talk to the bigger group of friends, maybe like one or two of them to kind of tag team checking in on him. If, you seriously mm. feel uncomfortable mm-hmm. being one on one. And I guess he has kind of ostracized himself from the friend group, but see if there's maybe like someone else that can kind of share that. Yeah. Because I feel like you can't be that person's one and all. It's good that he's seeing a therapist mm-hmm. and that his family which, supports him. And, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That's he's big. going through a lot of life changes right now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but if you feel uncomfortable, you should always listen to your own intuition and don't if go to the hotel room. Something feels wrong. No, 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 yeah, no, no. yeah, yeah. Listen to your what, what the voice inside your head is telling you. Yeah, I feel yeah. like that was kind of a mistake to see him in the Ooh. hotel room. Because mm-hmm. yeah. you're not only just agreeing to talk to the person, you're traveling. Yeah. To a hotel. Yeah. Even right. if the kid was there to talk with him. Like so that's going to put different things in his mind. You know. Set some boundaries and be like. Yeah. Oh, I can hop on a call right now, or if you want to get a coffee really quickly, or like something, yeah. mm-hmm. so it's not so intense and like sends makes you feel yeah. uncomfortable. Yeah, or just be honest there. and say like, I feel like this friendship is a little too much for me right now, and that you're putting a lot of responsibility on me, mm-hmm. yeah. and I don't think I can be there for you in the way that you need someone to be there for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like that's a nice way to put it. Cause like you can't keep being uncomfortable. I'm like, oh. I guess it depends how good of a friend I was with them before. Everything right. Happened. Yeah. Like if I was really good friends with them before, then I'd probably try to put it in a nice way like that. But if I wasn't really, mm-hmm. I probably would just stop responding. I'm not gonna lie. Because mm. like, you don't want to give a person who's reaching out for things some type of stability within you, right? Because then they're gonna. That's keep, true coming to you because you're going to, even mm-hmm. if you're responding half a day, a day later, the they're way, still going to keep yeah. coming to you. Like a half a day, I don't think it's that slow. Mm. Yeah. So I'm like, that might be confusing. Like you might be like, oh, she's responding like pretty quickly. Yeah. Like yeah. You know, she's sewing some type of stability. So yeah. you can't, so he's going to keep going to her for that. Right. So I feel like she needs to like, yeah. Yeah. Either not respond anymore or like, I feel like it's hard oh, when you feel like morally bad for someone. Yeah, right. I mean, a bad diagnosis. That's like, the part that really uh, kind of throws me about it. Yeah, it's like oh, and you feel like they don't have anyone. You're like, okay, well, if I leave, then am I their last tether to the? Mm-hmm. But then that's a lot of responsibility to put on yourself. Yeah, you're yeah. not responsible for other people's mental health. Yeah, and maybe it is in, enabling him a little bit too. Yeah, you know, to deal with everyone else. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But he's wronged or asked us like, yeah, he also ties himself by doing something. So he obviously has something he needs to work through with all those other people. Yeah. Know? Yeah. That is messy and sticky. I would say find a way out whether it's talking to him or just stop responding. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I feel like we've all been right? like, yeah, like been where it's like, oh, this person like wants to be friends and I like don't really want to be friends. And it's just like very, mm-hmm. it's not where you want to be. Mm. I mean, no. it's bad if you're uncomfortable being friends with someone. That's like not a yeah, good yeah. position to put yourself yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah. That's if, not smart. If you're skeeved out at the idea of going to a hotel to meet them and you go anyway, I feel like that's really ignoring a lot of. Yeah. I feel yeah. like that's like the beginning of all the cult documentaries yeah. where yeah. they're like, well, I really didn't want to do this, but I thought I should just go. And then they mm-hmm. slowly eliminate that part of your, your gut. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's oh. like a tactic. They, they normalize in things. Yeah. yeah, they normalize you questioning yourself and questioning yeah. that gut yeah. feeling. Get out. Get out. Yeah. Get out. 
You got to go, girl. Because even if you don't respond to him one on one and if you see him in a group sitting, it's like fine. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, it doesn't sound like you're going to see him in a group setting since all the friends yeah. seem to be upset with him. There's lower stakes. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe let him know you could, you know, try and be friends later on once he's kind of figured out his own yeah. stuff. Yeah. Maybe like, yeah, kind of sweet, like just like soften the blow. Yeah. Of like, I know you're going through a lot, but like, yeah, like let's I let's get through that this chunk and then yeah, let's regroup later yeah. and check in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or maybe even be like, okay, I'm super busy with work for the next six months or something. I don't know. That maybe it doesn't work, but you just always say you're dealing with your own stuff. I have a yeah. lot going on right now. I have to deal with a lot of my own stuff. Yeah, I can't talk to you right now. Yeah, I yeah. can't be there for you in the way you need. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's pretty good. That's nice, but direct. Yeah. yeah, I would text it. Yeah, I would text it. Also, just to have every, I like having everything in writing. I'm not a phone call person. I'm like, mm-hmm. write it down. Mm-hmm. Write it down. Show those receipts. I want receipts. I want receipts so there are no misunderstandings. So you can tweet them later. <laughs> screenshot it. <laughs> so you can screenshot it. Send it to the world. <sighs> yes. Amazing. Sorry, Beautiful. girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. That's hard. Not fun. Yeah. No. Super hard. You gotta look out for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Don't burn That's yourself true. out. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't yeah. sacrifice Amazing. yourself for. That person. Mm-hmm. Well, I hope you all listen to our stage advice. Mm-hmm. Let us know what happens. We love follow ups. We yes. love updates. Love we love updates. We want to know what happened, good or bad, pretty or ugly. We want it all. <laughs> we want everything. We want it all. But thank you so much for sitting with us today. Remember to vote, register to vote, vote, wash your hands, get vaxxed, get boosted, pee after sex, be nice to yourself, look out for yourself. And tip your service. Bye. 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 Bye.